Hi everyone, my name is Rick Gilman, and I'd like to welcome you to this episode of the podcast, The Mental Side of Golf. As always, Leo Tavik, owner and operator of the Golf Performance Academy, is our host today. Only we're doing something a little different. First, this is a video podcast, and we're not going to be talking about the mental side, but rather the physical side of golf. To help us with this, Leo is a very special guest with him today. So without further ado, Leo, take it away. Thank you, Rick. Hi, I'm Leo Chabick, owner and operator of the Golf Performance Academy. And we're outside on this wonderful patio of O'Brien's restaurant and bar at Hyatt Hills Golf Complex. And I'm here with Susanna Plant, a Titleist Performance Institute instructor of a level three, which is one of the highest levels. And it's time we have this discussion about how does the, what's the physical aspect about the game of golf. I've worked with a lot of players in my career, and when we talk about different positions and ways to get to them as quickly as possible or with the least amount of thought, sometimes the body gets in the way. And I personally know that there are many stretching exercises that have been out there forever, but in the Titleist Performance Institute, came about, it was about specific information. And I'd like to also say how happy I am that Su Susanna and I are going to team up in this endeavor. With the information that I use that creates solid ball strikers and solid thinkers, I, we need a, I need a physical aspect tied into the company, as does Susanna. So Susanna, Welcome. Thank you, Leo. Um, as a golf fitness professional, it's TPI actually has brought it to the next level. Um, in fact, 90 of the top 100 PGA professionals actually consult with a TPI expert. So from my level, what I end up doing is I give a 21-point screen for any, prof uh, any golfer coming my way, whether they're 10, 12 years old, or they go up to, I have an 83-year-old golfer. Um, it's really teaching body mechanics. You're teaching them how to swing and how to hit the ball and where to hit the ball. I'm teaching them pretty much the body mechanics of the golf swing. How to associate the lower body from the upper body. How the perfect golf posture can help the game, not hurt the game. We talked about S curve and C curve in posture starting. So how do I get someone out of a bad posture to help them actually hit the ball and not get injured? There isn't any doubt that if you have properly fitted equipment and the information of basic grip, posture, and alignment, you still need some security in the core areas of your, of your stance and to be able to handle the pressure on the downswing in the, those core areas of your, of your stomach, your glutes, and so on. And that's what I want to tie together. You mentioned separation of the upper before the lower upper against the lower in the beginning of the swing. That's important. With everyday work and those who s sit for a livelihood, it's really difficult. What are some of those thoughts with the core, dealing with the core first? Dealing with the core? Well, one, whenever we look at anybody, we look at the mobility first. We have to look at mobility because the mobility of the golfer, the flexibility of them being able to turn is going to be the most important thing. If they cannot turn, it's going to be a pendulum swing. They're going to have loss of posture. They may sway. They're going to, um, anything can happen in that swing. And I know you've seen pretty much everything happen in a swing. Then we look at stability. If their body's pretty mobile, which is fantastic, and a lot of your juniors and young players are very mobile, we come to stability. Do they have the stability in that swing to be able to, which is a stability is looking at hip stability, core stability. Do they have that stability to rotate properly, not to injure their back? Um, we can talk about Tiger Woods and how his glutes did not fire at that time. It is true, they didn't fire, he injured his lower back. That's where we come in and try to train the body naturally without a club in their hand. So when they come, when I give them back to you, they're able to have that mobility and stability. Um, from there, you know, if they have both of those, you have some young players, and I've seen some of them who are fantastic, we start working on strength and power and getting them to hit that ball further. 
because everybody wants to hit it 20 yards further, closer to the pin. But we need it accurate, the accuracy through the mobility and the stability. Absolutely. Well, that sounds like that's a strong program that I'm looking forward to sharing with you, with my, my players, but also myself. This is, uh, I, I mentioned club fitting. I would think that this is the top three. Instruction, physical fitness, club fitting. I'm really, really glad that, you're, that we're going to team up and have some good experiences with some players. Thank you. I am too. If you have a player that has, that's swaying to the left and can't come out of it, you're going to tell me, you've got to get this guy out of his sway. Okay. And that is going to be my job. If I can't do it effectively, you don't want to use me. <laughs> I mean... So where are you located? I'm located at RWJ uh, Fitness and Wellness Center. Is that Robert Wood Johnson? Robert Wood Johnson Wellness and Fitness Center over on Lambert's Mill in Scotch Plains. So I'm only five minutes away from this facility. Wonderful. So, so I, as I'm working with players and taking videos and, and I see something that's jumping out, I'll send you the video with a referral. Mm -hmm. I'll send the he, or she, uh, he or she to you and for an observation, and then we go from there. And I, I'm looking forward to working with you at that facility, and of course, all the swing techniques on course and short game will be done here at Hyatt. Yes. I think it's very important to understand what the player really wants when they come to me and they talk about, can you show me how to shoot lower numbers in tournaments? I play so well by myself or I hit the ball so well on the range and I don't do it on the course. A lot of that I've covered on my website, but this, this is a, missing, a big missing link. There are many fine players out there that are physically fit and still have some difficulties. That's why I really, really would like to bring this team together. And only being five minutes away should be quite easy to get to. Oh, definitely. And what is your... Do you have a website? I do. It's sportsrotations.com. Okay. And, and that, that will, it's in progress right now, but it will soon have tips and our different articles, blogs, everything going on there. So, so we're going to continue to work to do this, to do videos and do discussions about a swing motion. And you will come, you'll, you're going to comment on the physical activity that should be handled so that it will improve that. So we're, we're gonna do a number of, of these cons, uh, conversations, two, three, four months to talk about what we're doing yes. for the long term. But it's about improving the game of golf. You know, the, there aren't many players that play to their potential and it's very difficult to do that. So they have to give themselves time. Yes. Thank you, Susanna, for joining us. This is Leo Tabak, owner and operator of the Golf Performance Academy, located at the Hyatt Hills Golf Complex.